Hi everybody, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Um, I gotta apologize to you right away, twice. Two times. Two apologies, right off the bat. Okay. So, first off, I might sound like a pony right now. That is to say, a little horse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It's too early for that. Okay, second apology. I opened this box without you. I just cut it open. I I was so worried about what was inside of it, and my phone was dead. I literally had to open it and check on it. Now, I also wanted you to see that sometimes you get an order from somebody that cares, like, a lot about the thing they're sending you. And it might look like this. See, this is, this is actually the box the items came in, which they're all covered in bubble wrap. And then this big box is just full of newspaper containing the small box. And I cannot commend the seller enough for having done that. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to have to split this up into two little segments here. That's rude. That's rude. Take it off the screen so you guys can't see what I'm pulling out. It's rude to you. It's rude to me. So. We've got something called Pleak Azure in this. <clears throat> I may be pronouncing that wrong. It could be Plique <laughs> Ajours. <laughs> I can hear the French people already. <laughs> Very upset about that. I can't say I blame you on that one. So I think it's pronounced Pleak Azure. I got some pretty tiny little pieces here. Now, plique azure apparently is when you take some sort of glass and you uh, only hold it together with metal, uh, usually solder of some sort. So in this fantastic little button right here, let me, uh, I can already see I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. Bear with me, everybody. I adore you. Too much glare off of that bad boy. We're going to have to figure something out about glare. We're, we're going to have to work together on that. Somebody tell me what I need to do to eliminate this. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a stand for the thing that is in that box. Okay? <laughs> I don't know if you see how small that is. I'm not going to lie. I have large hands, but... They're not colossal. So that is a that is a tiny little thing. I like it quite a bit already. Let me try and let me try and get us in a little better here on this. If this is gonna be a a very slight affair. Alright. Alright. There's a lot of packaging in here. It's beautiful, good work. I'm going to mention the seller in the second video because I forgot to check my phone for it before I started making this video. Look at this tiny thimble of a thing. <laughs> so this is Pleak Azure. Now I'm looking at it for the first time exactly as you guys are through this camera. And could that be a tinier, more delicate, beautiful thing? So those are just pieces of glass with a, uh, you know, they're just bound by a little bit of solder in there. I don't know if you're familiar with soldering, but it's where you melt a soft metal. It's usually to uh, attach two wires or something because you don't want resistance to be high through the connection. You know, some people just twist them off and, and attach them with tape or something, but that's really not, uh, it's not conducive to your wire's health. So yeah, you would melt that little bit of metal right in here. <clears throat> Let me get my trusty chopstick here. Again, I apologize for my voice. I, uh, I was up to no good. No, I'm just kidding. Where'd we go here? Come back to me. Okay, Tiny Tim. You see, I mean, just that beautiful little bit of gold in there. I mean, I doubt it's real gold, but what a... What a beautiful and delicate little thing to be in a 
a fat American mechanic's fingers. <laughs> I mean, it's almost a travesty against the artist. I mean, this should be, this should be held by a tiny French woman's fingers or a Chinese woman's. I think this may have actually been made in China, maybe at the beginning of this century. Well, look at that. I'm going to say through the camera that that is purple and orange and it should look a little bit stunning from this direction. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Well, we can't use the stand for him, can we? No, he's just going to have to sit on a shelf with light shining up his little bum. <laughs> the foot. <laughs> I apologize. We'll get better at uh, professional terminology, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. So that's one of the items in this box. I'm going to try to set him on his stand. Depth perception is an issue through this. <clears throat> I'm just going to set him aside for a second. I'm also going to set this to the side for a second. I'm going to give you a little teaser though. There is something pretty special in that. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff. Just put that. I think that's the only thing in there. The other things I got were not very large either. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure which item this will be. I'm actually going to watch my fingers in real life for this section. So, so we're not exactly seeing the same exact thing, but. Never cut towards yourself. You get a boo boo. I admit sometimes I break that rule. I've, uh, I've done a lot of outdooring and you know, outdooring. <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> don't at me. <laughs> Goodness, I'm sure that was pretty loud coming through the camera there, and I apologize for that. You know what? I apologize a lot. Maybe I should just live a life where I, uh, I don't say sorry to anyone. I don't regret anything. But I do. I, I'd like you guys to like the stuff that I'm looking at. And I'd like you guys to like me a little bit, too, if I'm honest. I'm hoping we can be sort of friends. Maybe if you uh, like the stuff that I do here, you can like and subscribe to my channel. A little teaser. You see what that's going to be? Oh my goodness. Let me get this out of your way. That is rude. Slowly. <laughs> I'm such a creep. I don't know. I don't know. But look at that. Could that be a finer, more beautiful little thing? It's outrageous that I'm holding such a tiny, beautiful thing. Gently, Austin, with the sausages. Goodness. You know, sometimes I think that maybe I'm not even classy enough to touch this stuff. I mean, why would the word sausages come out of your mouth while you were looking at something so absolutely gorgeous? Huh? Huh, Austin? All right, I'm going to try something. Don't yell at me if it doesn't work. It might just blind us all. <laughs> I turned this light on last night and it was pretty, pretty bright, bud. Yup, that's never going to work. You can see my failed attempt, though. Okay. It's not even... Oh, but look at that, though. Oh, Austin, you're such a clever boy. Goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> too much, too much. I'm going to drop it back about 20% here. <laughs> that is, that is a stunning, tiny thing. Absolutely. You know, I paid between 30 and $50, I think maybe 25 and $50 for the three items I'm about to show you. Uh, the seller was fantastic. Again, I'll mention her name in the uh, next video where I open that bowl that I showed you a second ago in the bubble wrap, but that is just glorious. And since that light's working out, I'm gonna show you the little cup with the light shining behind it. Well, that's very nice. All right. It's a sipping glass. That's, that's all it is. Tiniest snifter in the world. 
I think that's just a beautiful thing. You can see how the wire kind of protrudes from the surface when the light gleaming on it like that. Beautiful. I'm going to set that back on his little stand. Oh my goodness, that is right in my eyeballs. Excuse the technical difficulties. Good lord. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I'm going to set that down for a second. In confidence, there's no bounds to it. I, you know, I, I'm just with you guys. I hear your complaints. I'm following, following them. They're in the registry. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Oh, look at me. I am a fool. Ah! Okay. I'm going to try not to do that again, but I probably will. I'm, I'm not super agile. bit like an overweight cheetah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> let's, let's not even discuss it any further. Alright. Alright. Easy buzzer. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. And that's why we were doing all three of these pieces together because they are the three pieces of plique azure I have bought so far. Because you're, it sounds better when you do it faster, I think, probably. More like you know what you're talking about. Don't space it out so much. Come on. Act grown. Alright, I, I realize that light's not the most pleasant coming in from the side there, but obviously this is this is um, something we have to look at, right? Alright, we'll get better. We'll get better. Maybe face that just a little more away from him. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I finally got the stained glass bracelet I've always wanted. Goodness gravy. Focus up. Come on. It's probably because I have that horrible light behind it. I'll, I'll never bring that out again. I apologize. There you go. Sort of. Hopefully. Feel free to tell me, uh. How not good at this I am. <laughs> if that's something that's just digging away at you, feel free to feel free to let me know that I am incompetent and I will never direct major motion pictures. So I'm trying to give you both uh, sides of it as we go around here. And again, this is this is a stained glass bracelet. I mean, who did this? Why have you done this? Why is it so beautiful? Why do I wish I could get my giant hand through the tiny hole to wear this thing every day? I really couldn't do that. I would smash it in four minutes. I mean, I am not a delicate creature. I mean, I think that's just incredible. Let me get this garbage out of the way. Oh my God. God, Austin. Really getting angry with myself today. I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm always kind of like that, but... Usually it's more charming than today. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that. She doesn't ever think it's charming. What a beautiful thing. Well, this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques. I'm going to set these all back down here and see what we see. My big mechanic hand for scale. Um, maybe put it next to him instead of directly in front of the camera. So yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh man, I'm, I'm totally going in. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. That's never going to happen. I swear I'll get better at this. Look at me just leaving garbage laying in the shot. Ooh. Amateur. <laughs> All right. So that is Pleak Azure, and that is my introduction to you on that. And I will, uh, I will put those on my bottom lit shelf in my curio. And uh, once I've replaced the light down there with something a little more energy efficient and uh, cool, I will show you guys those again with the light shining through them. 
Thank you very much. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe everything. I appreciate you.